I'm Kate Green with Lurvy Home and Garden, and I am excited to welcome you to our um, to L spring at Lurvy's. So um, come and take a look with me. Here we are in our covered shopping greenhouses. Um, you can see that we have lots of color in here. We've got still some cool season annuals, but those are on their way out, and the summer annuals are on their way in. So hanging baskets, um, everything you need for sun or shade. Um, if you're planting up your beds or containers, um, we've, we've got it all for you. Yeah, lots of beautiful color. I'll take you down a little bit farther so you can see our edible section where we've got herbs and veggies starting to come in. Yep, uh, tomatoes are here and peppers and uh, lots of herbs. We've got, you know, everything naturally grown, not all certified organic, but naturally grown. Um, all kinds of other things too, cucumbers, melons, you know, everything. It's just starting, but more and more will be coming. Up. Um, next, we'll come into our perennial section. And these are like flowing in by the day as well. Inside here, we've got our shade perennials, uh, shade grasses, hostas, corabels, and many other options. Shade perennials are a great way to go when you have a shady area that is too shady for shrubs to bloom. There's a lot of perennials that can give you flowers in the shade. And as we step out into the sun, what do you know? We've got our sun perennials and more of our grasses. Ornamental grasses are really just starting. More and more will be coming as the, um, yeah, as the weather gets warmer. They like the warm weather, so they don't look like too much until that gets warmer. But we can see that we have our sun perennial tables out here just starting to fill up. Um, vines are coming as well. Um, next, let me take you by our gazebo, the hub of information in the yard. All right, so here we are at the gazebo, um, the information center. So um, if you come in, take a look around, kind of get the lay of the land, find something you like, and then you have a question, the gazebo is the place to go for the answer. Say you've uh, picked out a tree that you like and you're ready to tag it, um, or you have other questions about delivery install, stop by the gazebo. There's nursery salespeople who always are heading back there when they're done with customers. So that's the place to go once you're ready to kind of take it to the next step with your plans. Um, of course, there's, you know, carts so you can just take things with you too. Um, and we have tons of shrubs and smaller plants that are, you know, very easy to plant or things that you might be able to handle yourself. Um, and this area is really filling up and we're starting to refill it every day as well. All right, we'll keep going. So here's where we have a lot of our specialty evergreens, some of the cool spirals and pom-poms, whip cords. Japanese maple section just starting to fill up. Um, in a couple of weeks, we will have it full of all those really cool weeping cut leaf Japanese maples, the little dwarfs. Um, for anybody who's a collector, we will have those, those cool ones in a couple of weeks. Ground covers. Over here, we have all of our fruit trees, um, at least all the smaller fruit trees, peaches, pears, apples, cherries. Yeah, those are the main ones. Um, yeah. All right, we'll watch our step as we cross the road here to our bigger plants. All right, yeah, you can see the trucks, new stuff coming in all the time. Um, so we've got all of our arborvitaes, the ewes, um, our small arborvitaes start over here and the large ones just keep going. 
Um, I'll give you a little peek of that too. Um, just to give you an idea of the layout, um, we have a lot of the ornamental trees in this direction. So some of the more common ones like pears, um, service berry, magnolia, um, and some of those you really want to get now during spring because we have the best selection and some things you can't you can't dig them later. So while some things we can continually refresh, there are certain ornamental trees, dogwoods, and a few, you know, a handful of other things that really you want to get now before they're gone for the season. Um, so yeah, we'll take a little peek down. So a lot of these cool ornamentals actually can come in tree form as well as like multi-stem. So people might ask you that when you say you're looking for a certain plant and just know that, you know, this kind of shape is a multi-stem or a clump form and something like this is going to be like a tree form. Um, and some but not all of them come in both options. So just to know that. More Japanese maples, just starting, just starting to get leaves. But give it another week or two and those will be bright and beautiful red. We've got some cool native plants, of course. Um, witch hazel, katsura trees, um, bottle brush buckeye. We've got all the crab apples as well. Some of them still blooming. I do make a note that just because it's blooming here doesn't mean it will necessarily still be blooming by the time you get it home. I know that can be disappointing, but um, if there's some time in between purchase and getting it back to your place, that could mean that it's just green by that time. But that doesn't mean that it won't flower again next year. It certainly will. Yeah, come now so you can see what it looks like when it's flowering. Um, some cool Japanese tree lilacs. If you thought lilacs only come in like small bushes, oh no, they also come in beautiful trees. Um, yeah, let's take a step over to the other side if we can find a safe route. Yeah. Watch your step. Service berry. Oh, here's a good example. Not less than a week ago, these were full bloom. Um, and now, you know, wind weather has blown those petals off, but you can see the, the little berries that are going to start coming. Delicious, actually. Another one that comes in shrub form and tree form as well. Oh, let me just draw your attention to this cool guy. This is one of the beautiful weeping cherries that we have. Really spectacular, practically full grown. And here's a really cool one, um, another buckeye. So these flowers are actually just getting ready to start opening. And when they do, they're so big, unique, um, re really cool. Everyone will ask you what you have if you have that planted in your yard. Red buckeye. All right, here we are where a lot of the bigger upright evergreens are. Um, everything from spruce to pine to arborvitae, hemlocks, firs, more, more things also that I'm probably not thinking of junipers. Um, but yeah, so you're welcome to come out in the yard, look around see what we have, see what you like. And then when you have those questions, just remember stop by the gazebo because we can, we can answer those. We can help you tag the plants. Um, if you come on the weekend, you'll have to wait a little bit, um, but it's a beautiful place to have to wait if you had to choose some place to wait um, on those nice days. But um, coming during the week um, in the afternoon after lunchtime usually slows down a little bit. So, um, so that's a great way to actually come in person and not feel overwhelmed by people um, as much as we do to try to, you know, 
keep everything safe and social distance as much as we need to these days. Um, keep that in mind. Um, kind of our last section of trees over here. Oh, actually there's a whole other parking lot of trees, but I don't know if I'll take you over there. You gotta see that when you come in, in person. Um, but we got shade trees over here. So uh, maples, oaks, there's also like birch trees over here, lindens, honey locust, more, more options than that. That's just a few. But yeah, shade trees. So trees that give shade, not that necessarily need shade but they can give your yard some shade. Also can be very good climbing trees. So if you're looking for something like that, the shade trees are a good option for that. So let's see, I think that's about everything I'm gonna show you for now, but please come in. The yard is always changing. We're getting new stuff in every day, multiple trucks a day this time of year. So yeah, we'd love to see you and help you with any of your landscape projects. Thank you.